Okay, I am with Nick James, the managing director of Paul Roger, and I'm also with James Simpson, the sales director. Gentlemen, pleasure to have you with us today. Uh, we're here at a, uh, a trade fair in London. Uh, it's quite noisy in the background, so we might have to make ourselves uh, make ourselves heard. But um, uh, I suppose, James, if we start with you as a, as a sales director, yep. these kinds of events, how much value do they bring to, you, to, to your own job? I mean, this is pretty much the first one and the only one we're going to do this year because we think it's a useful way of seeing our customers we got bored of doing our own individual portfolio of events but nearly turned up. So this seems a rather better way of getting the right people in at the right place. Okay, fantastic. And, uh, and Nick, it's yourself, I mean, do you get to come along to many of these shows? Or Absolutely. Do you... and... uh, it's very important that we put ourselves out to actually um, meet the people who are, are like, buying our wine and serving our wine and also putting out the producers, the face behind the labels, to the sommeliers. That, that's very important. We're still in the people business. And how, how do you find the sort of uh, the reception that the, the brands get at uh, a trade show as compared to a consumer event? We tend not to do consumer events. Uh, we're not geared up for it. It's far better that we uh, uh, work with, with, with uh, our customers who will in turn supply the consumers. Where, where we are basically marketeers and shippers. We, we import the product, but we don't meet or serve the uh, consumers direct. And I think it's better that we focus on shows like this. Okay, uh, and James, is, uh, as a, from a sales perspective, yeah. does that fit in with your with how yeah, yeah. you want to move I mean, forward? We just haven't got the capacity to do lots of consumer events. We sell yeah. to a lot of yeah. great customers who will do those consumer events themselves. We'll run tastings, we'll go and help out. But essentially, this is our gig, this is our event. And so hopefully we, we, we get to see all sorts of customers that normally we wouldn't see that regularly anyway. It's quite nice to get them out of their, out, out of their home territory and onto neutral territory. And are, are you noticing a distinct kind of a difference in atmosphere as it has been over the last couple of years? We're getting a lot cheer. We're not much, not much more relaxed than the wine trade than we used to be. Yeah, yeah. A distinct non, non, non-pinstripe suits now, is <laughs> except for Except for in his check shirt, obviously, looking uh, very stylish. I, yeah, I left my Paul Rosé uh, <laughs> polo shirt behind this morning. Yeah, I, th- I, I think at this point it would be good just to just quickly show uh, Helen Cheshire's um, wonderful Paul Roche dress going on here. I can, Helen, it's okay, don't worry, I can see it all. Yes, looking fully kitted up there. What, what's what's behind this, this dress? Is it just your own uh, little creation? Wonderful. Well, it's 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 very nice. I I wish I had one myself. Maybe you should make me one. We've got Charles Hamer in the house. Charles, nice to have you with us. Um, I'd shake your hand, but it would look very unprofessional on camera. Um, what what what's your role today, Charles? What have you been doing? Supervisory. And uh, have you fa- how have you found the uh, the audience to the to the ways today? Just arrived. <laughs> just arrived. Maybe I'll go back to Nick. <laughs> you yeah, we should. Well, to answer that question, the audience has been very good actually. And to to, to, to um, uh, reiterate what James said, seeing seeing our customers from well-known restaurants here out of their own environment, we can talk to them properly and most importantly introduce them to people who actually make the wine as well. Okay, and now just briefly, as I just pan around here, you set up quite an elaborate little room back here. Now, uh, this was the creation of Helen and Charles, but uh, what's your impression of this of this setting? Well, we like we like being different. We like being slightly wacky, and uh, we think we've complemented this very well. It's great. Isn't it? It's great to have a seat. And uh, James, have you? Uh, yeah, it's extremely, yes, extremely comfortable back here. Thank you. Good. This works. In. But we got some fun little memorabilia around the walls of all the various goodies we do. Well, such as I mean, I can see up here you've got uh, some Glen Farkless memorabilia. There's a, there's a very yeah. fine. If you go over that way, go over this one. Daily Mirror front page. Gold of fizzy rascal. And what's that about? This was last year when Cameron and the Conservatives were not supposed to drink yeah, champagne right. at the conference. But he was snapped drinking a glass of Paul Roger at the Spectator summer party. Those so cheeky got Tories. Front, front page heading on the, on the mirror last summer, which I'm sure has helped enormously. <laughs> well, uh, it, might, it obviously didn't stop them getting into power, exactly, though, did no, it? No, so it no, uh, didn't no. do them any favours. <laughs> well, last year the, market, the champagne market was down, but we, we, we worked. We, were, we did extremely well last year. And it's all the little things like that that, that, that endorse the product. So, 
and obviously, you know, you're, you're, you're famed for your champagnes, but, you know, you, you do your other books well. You've got your Game Farquist, you've got your Hein Cognac. Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a fabulous house to be part of. Where do you see it going over the next five, ten years? Well, we see very much with the role model we have at the moment, we think it's very successful. We're going to just keep what we've got unless something really good comes along. We get a lot of agencies offered to us which aren't compatible with Paul Roger or all the other families whose wines and spirits we represent. If anything comes along good, we, we, we all take it. But the moment we, we think we consolidate what we're good at, keep it simple and communicate clearly to our customers. So that's one of the reasons why we're here today. Fantastic. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>